Hey everyone, this is my reaction to the 69th, 69th episode of Hunter x Hunter. And last episode we finally met up with Hisoka. You know, it seems like it just took forever to happen. I don't know what he was doing all this time, just wandering around, taking showers, just whatever, whatever Hisoka does. But now he's part of the group, as long as he walks in front of us, not behind us, for obvious reasons. But he's here, I gotta keep an eye on him, because as we know, Hisoka is quite sneaky. So, let's make sure he's not up anything too bad, which Killua kind of is, you know, Killua's... It's a little bit suspicious. Like, he's starting to think that he might be too paranoid, but still, he's like a killer. I just keep, keep an eye on him. So, what's going to happen with this episode? Let's find out. Three, two, one, play. We're in the forest, talking to some people. Well, nine's enough for a baseball team, I think. <laughs> it won't be helpful, but you know, at least they're people. Yeah. <laughs> Whip it out and show us. We'll decide after we see its size. <clears throat> I should warn you, I did just watch the third episode of Ishizoku Reviewers, so... My mind might be a little bit more in the gutter than usual, so just keep that in mind. Doesn't help that this is episode 69. That does not help anything at all, but that's where we're at, so. Nandemo Tachi Agata, whatever, whatever it's said. A heated showdown. That does sound quite heated. <laughs> That's how life goes sometimes. <clears throat> Show us what you got. Because, yeah, they had to, you know, prove their worthiness to him before. That is impressive. I certainly can't do that. Just show us how you can go. Oh. Okay. <laughs> They're lighter. I wonder if they can go higher. And... <laughs> yeah, they'll show you some real heights. As expected of going in Killua. <laughs> Had a great teacher. Did you run over there? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, let's show you our full strength. Yeah, you're adequate. It's it's fine. <laughs> I think you might be a little bit upset. <coughs> They're gonna do that for a while, aren't they? Yeah, we did some of them. We got some information. Oh, that's... that's not good. But I miss him much. Catch up Shore and Lucky Alexandrite. I guess that was mostly off screen. Good 
Gotta win. Don't let your teacher down. She's right there. She will judge you. Isoka's here too, in case you forgot. It's much easier for you. So gonna be sneaking out. There's a bigger group. All right. Let's see how this goes. Hopefully better than last time. That's a cool ability. <laughs> Gotta watch out for it. Fight! Let's go. <laughs> It's one of my favorite anime tropes, when somebody moves really quickly and their opponent just like... just points that out. Oof. Okay, so that's what it was. I did kind of notice it. <laughs> okay, you're not doing a good job of blocking. <clears throat> my voice. Oh, well, ouch. Definitely wrecked him. Now it's time to play with balls. We're definitely doing better. <laughs> there are some strong people here combat-wise. <clears throat> Always suspicious of characters that just have closed eyes. Without orders, we, have a, we would have an anarchy. Bald! <laughs> yeah, he took off his sock off his head, so you know he's serious. Ba ba ba. Yeah, why play games and you can just punch each other? It's the best way to solve problems. <laughs> Is he gonna say no? In a very violent way? Oh! Yeah, let's not disagree with him anymore. Jeez, I wasn't expecting that much. I just knock him out or something. Well, we learned a lesson here today. Don't mess with this guy. Unless you can back it up. Yeah, don't be babies. You're not gonna die here. Just such a bunch of chickens. Just because you saw some guy have his head blown off, that's no reason to just start crying. Yeah, because I do remember that guy from the opening. He's very prominent. <clears throat> wow, I didn't think about that, but it's a possibility. Yeah, what do we do about this corpse? Like, somebody get it out of here. That's a good point. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but it wasn't any official official or anything. Okay, you get the win, buddy. Good, good job there, Waldo. <laughs> yeah, just carry this out of here. Dodge ball. Yeah, I bet somebody wishes he dodged that last ball. Guess boy, did he take a hard one to the face. Yeah, you certainly do. All right, I guess so. <laughs> it's so s intimidating. Those masks thing they got going on. <laughs> uh, why do we choose these people? 
Mommy, I want to go home and cry under my blanket. You know, you'd think people in this game would at least have a certain amount of courage. Yeah, that's not going to help anything. Yeah, these spineless wimps are becoming a pain very quickly. Oh, can we just do that? Yeah, I don't really want to put people in there. I don't, don't really... Don't belong there. Yeah, I don't know how we're gonna deal with this. Maybe we could cut some of our players in half and make two players. He was mouthing off, you know? Well, geez, I didn't, see, didn't expect that. We know that much. And we know that, so... Well, they didn't. Oh yeah, I guess he was gonna talk about a ship or whatever. Right. You might know Gon's father. So... So the pirates are legit criminals, then. So... I guess it makes it a little bit less shocking, if that's the case. Yeah, like you can't can't go places. You brought up the father. Are we gonna talk about this? Are we gonna learn something new? Yeah, he definitely knows about Jing. Jing. Uh, yeah, that sounds about right. I don't think going would want it any other way anyway. <sighs> I know some people want to dodge both of the head. Oh, can you I guess you can just do that? Just don't know if that's a violation of the rules. But I guess we could just do that. <laughs> Okay, we got our match. I still have a decent amount of time left, too, for the episode. <laughs> right. A cushion effect. Ricochet. Okay, that's good to establish. Okay. Nice. <laughs> that's kind of unlikely to happen. <laughs> Oh, okay, let's, let's avoid that, I guess. Okay. I mean, it really wasn't that complicated, Gum. I guess it just helps that I've played dodgeball before, you know. Otherwise, it might be a bit more difficult. Zero, that means you have the most potential.
go. Here we go. How nice of you. One of them is quite short over there, but so are some of ours. Oh, pfft. ow. And nobody caught it. A pretty good start. Oh, <laughs> man, it's so fast. I want to hear someone say hi hi in regards to the ball. I feel like he's going to be the only real opponent. I have this weird feeling. Like, almost like he's a raid boss and they're all mob, mob trash. Yeah. Oh no, this is about to turn around. This is a specialty throwing balls at people. You could probably break through a lot with this ball. Yeah, do you want to try to catch that? Because I think I would act like the other, like the chicken squad and just dodge it. Not that the chicken squad are even participating, but if they were, they'd dodge that. Ooh. Ah, uh, yeah, want to catch that? Because I kind of don't. Okay, let's try not to lose our heads over this. Clearly. Yeah, because that head wasn't his. Gordon Inu is a very interesting name. Yeah, I think the trauma is real with that. Yeah. Yeah, as long as you use Nen, you can do whatever. Right, makes sense. Hopefully, you can snap out of it, but I don't know. That was that'd be pretty scary. Being scared of that is understandable, unlike the, the chicken squad who were scared before anything even happened to them. Yeah, watch out for that. Oh, somebody grab that before it hits the ground. Uh, hopefully his spine's okay. Ugh. No, it hit the ground. <laughs> yeah, that had to just break his back. <laughs> I can almost feel that. That's smart. At least he didn't die. It's just a flesh rune. I got this, guys. Don't worry about it. Uh, man, that just looks so painful. Probably wouldn't get back up for a week after that. Yeah, they're a smaller target for one thing, and Agile, so they should be able to dodge a bit better. Perhaps. It's good to go back to basics once in a while. He's looking, you're good with balls, right? Let's hand it over to you. That would be, that would be helpful, yeah. If we could just do that. <laughs> uh, they're enjoying this too much. Just, it was like a ball in a sack now just dangling from his hand. Uh. 
Okay. <laughs> Just looks so weird and gross. Yeah. But things could go worse than- Oh, what the fuck? They just did addition. Like, they just- They can't do that. Uh. Okay, this- God damn it, why do they keep doing this to us? Just combined. Okay, we're bringing up Ken. We have gotten a lot of training, so... Yeah... It's gonna be rough. <laughs> I can't remember the last time I saw such an intense dodgeball game. Yeah, I gotta be careful about where he get hit with this ball. But this is a good chance for Ken to come in handy, so... But then they learned it. Oh, it's gonna be a hard throw. Hopefully we can take it. Go and kill it, combine! There we go. Oh! Oh! Jeez! Uh, I mean, it doesn't hit the floor yet, so we can still catch it, right? <laughs> if it ever comes back down. <laughs> yeah, and that was and that was when he blocked it too. Imagine if he didn't focus his net like that. Yeah, that was a weak point. Oh, jeez. Ah, uh, man. And that was with. Yeah, actually knowing where it was going to hit and preparing as best he could, that was the amount of damage it got. Jesus. <laughs> that ball just went flying. Hopefully we have spare balls. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> this is a fun game of dodgeball right here. It really did take me off guard when those two guys combined like that. That just... I don't know, this kind of freaked me out for a second. Because you're like throwing the ball at them and I was wondering, okay, I wonder what they're going to do. Because this probably isn't going to go as well as you're hoping it will. But I wasn't sure what would happen specifically that would cause an issue. Then there's like... The much bigger, fatter person just... It was so weird. I wasn't ready for it. A company. Uh, that's probably not gonna happen, but don't don't confuse going, please. You can barely follow the rules of dodgeball. So that was the 69th episode of Hunter x Hunter, and I was wondering what we would do for such an important number 69. And yeah, a game of dodgeball, you know, uh, that's that's a pretty good choice, I would say. So yeah, the episode basically we had to build up our team so we could have another attempt at taking on these these pirates, and the issue was not having enough people, but. We resolved that. We had a nice little demonstration of Gon and Killua's abilities and also what's-his-faces, you know. I probably should remember his name. He's an important character. Oh, well. I'll call him White Eyebrow, dude. But after that, we actually went there and did... Pretty much did what you would expect them to do. However, somebody got a little bit impatient. The, the large man, Bobobo. 
which is a funny name because I'm pretty sure there's an anime called bo 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 like a guy with a big mustache or something. I vaguely remember seeing something like that as a child on TV. And so what was it the guy said that got Tim upset? Yeah, he mentions Team Up and Crush Them, but this is the one that I think triggered him. And then we and then we can use a ship to get off this island. I didn't really register with it too much at the time, but yeah, that's sort of revealing that you can just do that. You can just leave, go somewhere else on a ship. But that's not necessarily a giveaway that we're not really a game. Like, I think it takes a little bit of a logical leap to come to that conclusion. But apparently it was too close for his liking because he just murdered that guy. Because I could tell he was about to be violent to him, like hurt him in some way. I didn't think he would literally take his head off. Like, that was a bit of a surprise. Like, that was pretty savage for just mouthing off a little bit. But like I said, we... Learn a little bit more about why he did that. So, but at that point, things get a bit more interesting because we established we're just going to do a dodgeball game to just kind of finish this off. And now go to all of them know that Green, Green Island is a real place in real life. It is a very interesting concept, you know, just... Hey guys, let's go play a video game together. Like, yay, we're in this fantasy world. It's so cool, we're in a video game. But really, you're not. You're just on like an island somewhere in the middle of nowhere that's very well protected. <laughs> that's just such an interesting, interesting concept just because of how much we do have like trapped in a game worlds and stuff for anime and stuff. It's a really interesting way to kind of subvert that a little bit. And, you know, that, was, that kind of setting wasn't even a big thing back when this source material was first made, so... It's especially interesting idea. We were eventually able to establish the whole, get the, get the whole number of players thing figured out eventually by summoning a couple of gorillas or whatever, and explain the rules, which Go and may or may not have been able to follow. Hopefully, at least got the gist of it. And the opponents, yeah, basically we just have these people in like masks, which is very weird, but they have numbers on them, which you didn't think of much at the time, but. Apparently that's a very important characteristic of their character because like they just can combine like math and a five and a six or make like an eleven, which is has their combined strength and everything. I guess that's how it works. You could just do that. I guess it explains why three was so much smaller than everyone else. Wait, but it looks like two is bigger than three. Let me take another look at that. Because it's three next to four. Four is bigger, which makes sense, but then two is bigger than three and four. <laughs> I don't understand how this works anymore. I thought I did, but apparently I did not. Because the numbers and size relationships, it just seems arbitrary. Anyway, very exciting game of dodgeball, though. The actual throwing itself looked very intimidating. <laughs> like, I wouldn't want to catch some of these balls. One guy would have lost his head, so he switched out. Luckily, he can do that. Another man, white eyebrow man, was able to take a hit without dying, but it hurt a lot. Like, I th think a few bones may have broken. Maybe, maybe, maybe some internal bleeding, I don't know. But man, was it savage. It just looked so painful when he got hit by it. Like, I could almost feel it. Like, he was kind of done at that point. Hisoka, uh, Killua, had the idea to use Hisoka's bungee gum, which is a great idea, honestly. It looked weird. An action, but it was a great idea. But it didn't work out too well, unfortunately. That's life for you, I guess. Yeah, I just, I just watched that combining again. It just looks so weird. At least now we know that's a thing that can happen, so we can account for it in the future. We did bring up starting using Ken, which is cool, because that was something we worked on not too long ago. And Gon did, did take that attack pretty well. Like, he's bleeding. His fingers, I think, are a little bit damaged. But he's, he's still conscious. He's still standing. He can still fight. Although, the ball, I'm not sure the deal with the ball is, because it didn't hit the ground, so... Are we just going to, like, catch it before it eventually hits the ground so Go won't be out? Or is he out anyway? I'm not quite sure about that. Let's see. I think it's right about here. Yeah, in the opening, we definitely see that guy throwing a ball, so... It is certainly his specialty. Anyway, we got a pretty good, pretty exciting game on our hands here, so... We'll see how it goes next time. Thank you for watching, and a special thanks to Snokey and Ryan for supporting the channel. 
If you enjoyed this video, I hope you consider clicking the like button and leaving a comment, because that's a great and easy way to let me know that people want more. If you want to do something big to help the channel, you can support me on Patreon and get nice benefits like early access to certain videos. See you next time.